Good day to you, everyone. I am David Joy by name, and I will be taking you a topic in physics, term semiconductors. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define semiconductors, state the examples of semiconductors, state the type of semiconductors, state the properties of semiconductors. Let's proceed. <coughs> Many of semiconductors. Semiconductors are solid materials whose conductivity is between that of a conductor and an insulator. A conductor is any substance that conducts heat and electricity, which are usually solid, most especially metals. An insulator also is any substance that doesn't conduct electricity. Another name for insulating materials is dielectric materials. They include rubber, plastic, wood, etc. Anything that doesn't conduct electricity at all or heat. So semiconductors are less conductive than metal, but differ from metal in that as a semiconductor heat up, its conductivity rises. Metals, the opposite effect of course. The reason for this is that in a semiconductor, very few atoms are ionized. And so very few electrons can move, creating an electric current. However, as the semiconductor heats up, covalent bond, that is, atoms sharing electrons, causing the electrons to be relatively immobile. These the electrons will not be moving. Break down free. As a result, a semiconductor's conductivity rises at an increasing rate of temperature. Examples of semiconductor. Semiconductors can be compounds such as gallium, arsenide, or pure elements such as germanium or silicon or selenium, etc. The resistivity of semiconductor are known to lie between that of a metal conductor, which is 10 raised to the power minus 8 ohm meter, and that of insulator, which is 10 raised to the power 4 ohm meters. Now let's quickly look at the type of semiconductor. Semiconductors can be classified as intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor. Now let's look at the meaning of intrinsic semiconductor. An intrinsic type of semiconductor material is made to be very pure chemically. It is made up of only a single type of element such as gamelia or silicon, etc. as indicated in the diagram. Extrinsic semiconductor. The conductivity of semiconductors can be greatly improved by introducing a small number of suitable replacement atoms called impurities. The process of having impurities atom to be pure conductors is called doping. So excessive can further be classified into what is called N-type semiconductor and P-type semiconductor as indicated in the diagram below. Now let's quickly take a look at the properties of semiconductors. That is how semiconductors behave. One, they obey Ohm's law. Two, their resistance decreases with increase in temperature. Three, due to their ex exceptional electrical properties, semiconductors can be modified by doping to make semiconductor devices suitable for energy conversion switches and amplifier. Semiconductors are smaller in size and possess less weight, less weight. Five, lesser power losses. Six, semiconductor act like an insulator at zero Kelvin or on increasing the temperature, it works as a conductor. In summary, semiconductors have been defined earlier on as solid materials whose conductivity lie between metal and non-metal. Now, we have come to the very end of the lesson and um, I have the following assignment 
for you, which should be submitted to the mail provided. And if you have any inquiry, please contact the mail provided. Number one assignment is what is a conductor, semiconductor? Two, differentiate between metal insulators and semiconductors. Thank you. You have a nice day.